Among the vast arsenal of weaponry that Armor 3 has to offer, ranging from high caliber assault rifles, suppressed light machine guns, and armor piercing snipers, lies a hidden gem. A weapon raising many questions concerning its purpose in the game and in which situations should it be used in. As a part of the Marksman DLC pack, it is considered a designated Marksman rifle, yet it is ineffective at long ranges, even though it is a so-called 50 cal rifle. But don't be fooled. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the ASP-1 Care. The Care is a fictional weapon based on two real-world designs, the VSS Ventoras and the VKS Russian Bullpop Sniper Rifle. The outer design of the VSS, combined with the high caliber of the VKS, yielded a very interesting weapon to play with. The Kir is a semi-automatic, special-purpose weapon belonging to the CSAT faction. Integrally suppressed and chambered in the devastating 12.7x54mm subsonic cartridge, this rifle can leave a false impression, if not entirely familiarized with. So let's clear up the first potential misinterpretation of the ASP-1. The effective range of the Kier tops out at around 200 meters, due to the fact that its rounds are subsonic, meaning they will not produce a loud crack upon impact. For comparison, here's what a silenced M14 sounds like when shot, facing the camera. Even though it uses a slightly less powerful caliber and a silencer, the bullet still flies at supersonic speed when it leaves the barrel, thus creating a loud crack upon impact. To clarify that statement furthermore, the subsonic rounds will eliminate the same crack, but with some penalties. They sacrifice the effectiveness at range for greatly reduced loudness of the crack. What does this mean for the ASP-1? King of the Hill, the most popular PvP game mode in Arma 3, will yet again be used to showcase the capabilities of this unique rifle. On a server with 80 plus players carrying AK-12s, SPMGs, why would you want to risk using the Kier, a designated marksman rifle with a personality disorder? It is more than clear that the ASP-1 needs to be used with great caution and for a couple of reasons. The combination of a semi-automatic fire mode and a 10 round magazine is not something that most players would feel very comfortable with. But get to know the care, and you will love it, just like I loved eating crayons when I was a child. Before we get into more detail on the effectiveness of the care, I will try and clarify another important subject concerning this rifle. The scopes. The fact that the care is not very effective beyond ranges of about two or three hundred meters leaves you with a couple of options. First are the iron sights. you're not very forgiving, or to choose between a hollow sight, ACO, or a nice rifle optic. The truth is, the Kier is not very effective when used with a scope that has its zeroing set in stone. We'll take a look at the ERCO. When fired, notice where the initial aim is compared to where the bullet actually hits. When switched to the secondary side of the ERCO, the shots are spot on. And for the purpose of saving money in King of the Hill, you can simply use the ACO or the hollow sight, making the Kier a trustworthy urban stealth weapon. The DMS is a very good choice for the Kier, despite the fact that you will be using the secondary sight for the most part of your gameplay. Also, the DMS is the only scope that can be zeroed to 100 meters. Keep that in mind. The subsonic rounds are very slow over range, and the bullet path resembles that of a mortar shell. So if you decide to test the cure on distant targets, be ready for some compensation. 
Close quarter combat is anything but impossible when using the EASP one. The 12.7 by 54 mm subsonic round can penetrate heavy body armor at 100 meters, so not even the Spec Ops class has a chance against the gear. Combat pace will keep you on your toes, and controlled shots will make those 10 rounds count as much as possible. This rifle is a great choice for sneaky kills, even with a whole squad around you, as they will probably think that their teammates are getting dropped by a lynx from so far away that they cannot even hear the shots. Capable of eliminating targets with one shot, even those with plate carriers and GL rigs. The care can also penetrate concrete walls, but just to be sure, send more than one round towards them. Just to be sure. If you're still curious about just how bad the ASP-1 is at range, here's an example. 400 meter shot with an M14 and a silencer with a DMS scope. Here's the same shot with the ASP-1. The flight time of a 7.62 round is roughly 0.56 seconds. While the ASP subsonic round travels 1.83 seconds before hitting the target. Like I said, a designated marksman rifle with a personality disorder. The ASP-1 truly is a special purpose rifle. Not everyone is gonna like it. It takes some time getting used to, adjusting your playstyle and combining the rush aspect of King of the Hill. The ASP-1 is a great rifle, both unique specifications and a very impressive look made the Kir a prominent member of the Arma 3 arsenal. Until next time, this is Fairtex, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in game.